guys, thanks for joining me today. I want to challenge you to design and build a crew module for two little astronauts using things that you can find around your house. So what is a crew module? Well, the crew module is the spacecraft that the astronauts actually sit in. Uh, the newest one that NASA is building is called Orion. Orion will take astronauts into deep space and then return them safely to Earth as a part of our Artemis program. So let's go check it out. Between 1968 and 1972, America launched nine human missions to the moon, six of which successfully touched down, allowing 12 men to walk on the lunar surface. NASA's next chapter of lunar exploration, called Artemis, has the task of not just going to the moon to create a long-term human presence on and around it, but also to prepare for ever more complex human missions to Mars. In short, everything we must be able to do here, we must first do here. So, what will an Artemis mission look like? Everything is designed and tested with our most important element in mind the astronauts. This is their deep space, human-rated spacecraft called Orion, built in three parts. The crew module, where up to four astronauts will live and work throughout the flight. The service module, with life support systems for the crew and its own engine and fuel reserves. And a launch abort system, with engines capable of pulling the crew module to safety during launch should anything go wrong. To accomplish the task of launching our crew and heavy payloads, NASA is building the Space Launch System, comprising of a cargo hold, an exploration upper stage, a massive core stage, and two extended solid rocket boosters. Altogether, this is the world's most powerful rocket, and it exceeds the legendary Saturn V of the Apollo era in numerous ways. Sitting on the launch pad, the entire rocket, fully fueled, weighs just over 6 million pounds, 5.2 million of which is just the fuel. Wow, it's amazing what NASA can accomplish. So now you are being tasked to build your own crew module to protect two little astronauts. You'll need to harness all of your engineering creativity and ingenuity to be successful. Wait, what? You, you don't know what an engineer is? Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Let's take a look. You've probably heard the word engineering before, and you've probably been told it's pretty important. But what exactly is engineering? And who exactly is an engineer? Engineers are people who design and build things that we use every day. However, they don't just go building the first thing that comes to mind. They work hard to make something we need, and they want to do a good job of it. So how do engineers decide what they need to build? Well, in most cases, they start with a question. Here's an example. Say you live on a space station and something outside breaks. Obviously, you need to go outside and fix it, but how exactly do you do that? That's a great question for engineers. Once they've got a good handle on things, they'll start imagining ways to solve the problem. They'll come up with all kinds of ideas, and some that might even seem a little crazy. That's important because sometimes the craziest idea is the one that works best. After coming up with these ideas, they'll pick a few that make the most sense. Next, they'll start drawing a plan. Depending on the idea, the plan can be very simple or very complicated. But the important part is the plan itself. A good plan helps engineers focus on what they're making and most importantly, why. Now the engineers get to have some real fun. They get to create something. It's important to stick to the plan, though, so the idea doesn't go too far off course. Once they've built it, then they have to test it. Experimentation is very important, because it's here that engineers learn what works and, well, what doesn't. And while it's great when something goes right on the first try, it's actually good when things don't, because that gives engineers a chance to go back and improve on their original idea. And improve they will, until they've solved the problem. So the next time you've got a problem to solve, whether simple or complicated, there's probably a team of engineers ready to create something to solve it. And nobody solves engineering problems quite like NASA. Okay, now we know what an engineer is. 
So it's your turn to be the engineer and design a crew module for two astronauts. You'll need it to protect them and keep them safe. Now your astronauts can be anything you can find around the house. Maybe a little Lego person or a marshmallow, or you can even make your own little stick person like I did. Once you've created or found your astronauts, you're going to need to build seats for them, but you need to secure them in those seats without gluing or taping them in place. Next, you'll wanna make sure that whatever you build, whatever kind of crew module you build, can fit inside your rocket. So for example, I'm gonna use this oatmeal container as my rocket, and I'm gonna check and make sure that my spacecraft, my crew capsule, can actually fit inside of it. And that will constrain the size of my cruise capsule because we can't make it too big for the rocket. And last but not least, I want to keep in mind that heavy things are hard to get into space. So the more mass it has, the harder it will be to launch it up into space. So I want to make my crew capsule as light as possible. So keep that in mind when you choose your materials. Next, grab a piece of paper and draw your crew module design. Make sure you label where you'll use the different materials on your spacecraft. Now go build it. Once you're done building it, it's time to test. You'll wanna drop your crew module from a height of one meter or 39 inches high. See how it goes. You'll want to drop it several times from the exact same height and record how it went. Redesign and improve on your original and then test again. Once you're satisfied that your crew module works well to protect your astronauts, you can raise it up and drop it from two meters high or about 79 inches. In order to weigh your capsule, you can use a kitchen scale or download a free kitchen scale app on your phone. Test and test again until you're satisfied. Share with your family and friends exactly what you did and how you improved your design. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys had a great time and created something spectacular. If you'd like to do more hands-on activities, you can join us online at STEM at Home for Students. See you next time.